Okay, so it's uh, May 29th, uh, 2009, I'm, uh, with, and I'm with uh, Professor uh, L. Randall Ray, Research Director for the Centre for Employment and Price Stability, Department of Economics, University of Missouri, Kansas City, and Senior Scholar with the Levy Economics Institute of New York, and Professor William F. Mitchell, Professor of Economics and Director of the Centre for Employment and Equity uh, at the University of Newcastle, New South Wales. Just to begin, how did you both come to invest so much of your professional careers in the issue of unemployment and labour underutilisation generally? Well, when Topic I was, uh, when I was uh, studying at uh, universities and undergraduate, it was in the uh, second half of the 1970s. And if you recall, it was when the, uh, the, the unemployment after the sort of aborted uh, aggregate policy responses to the OPEC oil crisis when unemployment started to rise very sharply. And uh, at that point I was uh, relatively disinterested in uh, the sort of economics that I was being taught. And uh, I could see only one, one purpose of economics, and that was to be socially useful. I felt that most of the economic literature was um, what we used to call it playing chess. It was mostly uh, fairly trivial problems. And at that stage, of course, uh, we had all of the stuff on the economics of racism and the economics of sex and the economics of marriage. And this was just extending the microeconomic neoclassical model to absurdity. And so I thought, you know, for me, uh, from my, my socioeconomic background, I thought that... Uh, a concentration on the biggest social problem of unemployment was what I'd devote my academic career to. And how did you come into it, Randy? Well, the United States went through a very similar period and I was one of those long-term unemployed um, after graduating from college. Uh, I actually got a job in CETA, which was the Comprehensive Employment and Training Act job creation program under President Carter. And that is when I first started studying economics. So I had the personal experience. Um, eventually, when I worked in my PhD, I studied with Hyman Minsky. And really, he's known for two areas of research. One is on money and the financial system, which I went on to mo mostly focus on. And the other was employer of last resort, which you call the job guarantee. So from the very beginning, uh, I had heard about employer of last resort. And many years later, I came back to it again.